hello welcome to my youtube channel thank you for subscribing and sharing my videos today we're going to talk about NCLEX 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 is a licensure examination taken by nurses in the US before they can practice and the requirements are different for a foreign trained nurse if you schooled outside the US and you want to work in the US you need to take the NCLEX Island exams all over again so I'm just going to tell you five things you should know before you prepare to take the boards. These things you should know before you even travel into the US. First and foremost, you should know the requirements. So you want to go to the website, the official website of all the professional bodies, be it nursing, medicine, engineering, pharmacy, law, you need to know the requirements, all that they need, then you can prepare adequately and get some that if you have to get before you come you have those handy before you travel into the u.s then if the rest has to be gotten over time through somebody you do that so first of all go to the website find out the requirements all you need to know about the professional exams you are going to take second of all you have to have a reliable person back home who can do follow-ups for you if needed and also someone in the US who has embarked on that journey. If you happen to know somebody already who's done that, that will be very good. But mind you, the processes change with time. Somebody who did it two years ago won't be the same as somebody who is about to do it. So you should always go back to the website and find out the requirements. And even the website, the requirements vary per state. So look at the states you want to practice in, see what the state says, the requirements, then you go accordingly. Do not listen to hearsays. Several information will be conflicting and you end up doing the wrong thing and delaying your process. Mind you, some of these processes take between six months to four years before you can get a license to practice. Yes, so you might want to do it right at the right time. Get all you need, get the right information from the right person, right source, for every right official website. Get there, read every day because they keep updating it. Read every day, find out what they want. Some of them require transcript, some of them credit transfers, some of them language interpretation. If you're from a country that is not English speaking, you'd have to transfer, translate your transcript to English because the English is a medium of communication in the US. So find out all they need. Some of them you can get them before you travel in. Some you have to get them through somebody back so, home. Have your resource person after you check the website and see what you what you need. Have your resource person back home in your country and also in the US. Someone who will guide you and tell you the basic things you need to do. Obviously, the learning materials won't change, so at least the person can tell you that. But the process itself, the update to be on the website. So you have to know what state you're in and the requirements for that state. But for NCLEX, for the registered nurse, you don't necessarily have to reside in a certain state to take the boards. You can apply for the boards for another state. If that works for you, if that, might, if that looks faster to you, you can apply for that and get it transferred. After you pass and have the license, you can transfer your license to a state you reside in to practice. Transferring of license takes between 4 to 16 weeks, depending on where you are and where you want to transfer it to. So you don't necessarily have to reside in a certain state before you can take it. All the states vary depending on the requirements they need for you to take the exams. For a state like California, for instance, you don't need a verification agency to help you go through that. So you might want to use that even though you don't live in California. So after you pass the boards and you have the license, then you can transfer the license to where you reside or where you wish to practice. And it's going to take between 4 to 16 weeks to do the transfer, but at the end of the day, you're going to get it transferred. A state for, like New York, for instance, you have to use a verification agency called CGFNS, Center for Foreign Graduate Trained Nurses. And they have to verify your education and everything before you can take the boards for New York State. If you're using CGFNS, it takes a while to get everything done, but they will do the job of verifying for you. You get the forms from them, 
about four fifty dollars five hundred dollars you pay you fill out the form you notarize the form you send it back to cgfns and they will send it to your home country send it to where you had your nursing education if you had diploma and at the same time you have a degree you have to get forms to send to all the schools that has something to do with your nursing career then you send one to the nurses and midwife council if you just have a degree you send one to your university and you send one to the nurses and midwife council and they would fill it out send it by dhl or fedex or the fastest means possible all of these is part of the cost you pay to cgfns the 450 500 dollars you paid it's all part of the cost and it's covered so cgfns will look at your transcript your credit transfer language interpretation whatever you did and they'll create a report they'll generate a report and send the report to the state where you registered to write the board the state also has its fee for New York State, you register with them, I think, $143 when I did it. You register with them at that rate, at that price. Then, when the report from CGFNS goes and you are cleared, your education is clear, then you go ahead and register with Pearson VUE. Pearson VUE is the organization that organizes the board for you to take. So, first off, is CGFNS verifying your educational background. They send a report to New York State or whatever state you applying to take the boards with. Then if the state is okay with the report from CGFNS that did your verification, they give you the go ahead through a mail to register and take the boards with PSN VUE. And the boards with PSN VUE, you also pay an amount to take the boards. I think it's $200 to register for PSN VUE to take the boards. For New York State, it takes about six months to one year and a half or two to get your paperwork done to take the boards within that time. So you will spend about $1,000 on the whole process. That might take you between six months to two years to get it done if you're doing for endless RN, the registered examination. For USMLE, for doctors, I'm told it takes between three to four years to get everything done. So it depends on how fast you move. So the third point is you starting as soon as you arrive in the country, you have to start a process. It takes a while. If it's going to take three, four years, you don't want to start after five years of settling down. The energy and the zeal to do it will be down. So it's best to start as soon as you arrive, start working on the paperwork, start applying, start getting ready, start getting your books, start getting your read reading materials, your audio books, your online notes, watching YouTube videos about the boards and how you have to take them what you have to know before you take the boards what you have to know after you take the boards it's very good to watch videos and there are so many tutors online some are free they just teach you and you just study online you don't need to go for a live class some also pay and go for a live tutor class in different states different areas it all depends on how prepared you are and how best you can capture whatever you're reading the learning materials are obviously huge you don't have enough time to cover a whole chapter a whole book so it's better to stay focused narrow it down to what are the examinable questions what you have to see and how you have to answer the questions it's more of strategy in answering these questions you can know the content but if you don't know the strategy and the style to pick the right answer you end up failing it so find out the styles they use to set the questions and how to answer them and you have a limited number of times to do this some states have two trials three trials and you can't take it in that state anymore you have to take it elsewhere but that doesn't mean that you need to drive or move and relocate to a different state to take it you can still live where you are but you have to register with that state and take it online but for that state then you can later transfer it to where you reside and work with it but for new york state it's open you can take it as much as possible many times so you get it fourth point if you take it and you don't pass it you don't need to relax you need to go at it you need to study harder top up your knowledge that you've already studied and go again and take it take it till you get it but if you want to give yourself time by the time you realize a year two and three have passed and you'll never be able to bounce back to take it Top up the knowledge you had when you took it, find out your, your shortcomings and top it up and try again. Keep taking it until you get it. Don't, want, don't wait till 
two four years when you've forgotten everything that you studied and you have to restart again it is very difficult to restart again after studying so much and failing you'll be discouraged there'll be no zeal to do it so if you take it you did not pass that's unfortunate just gather courage and go at it and do it again never wait i've known people who have done it 10 years they waited and they couldn't bounce back till now so they've given up on their career they don't want to pursue it anymore somebody took it three years ago failed and doesn't have the courage to do it again some four years some six months go at it don't forget don't just stop up whatever you've studied and do it again so after you've gone through the process and you've taken it and you've passed the fifth point is kindly help those behind you people are outside want information they don't know where to start from when they come to you and make inquiries help them it doesn't hurt to help somebody in need direct them to where they can find information tell them how your experience went just share it like the way i'm sharing my it will go a long way to help a lot of people because people don't know what to do in my case i didn't know that i'd have to have someone to be doing the errands for me but luckily i got a very good friend thank you francis for helping me through the process he was doing all the follow-up for me after i got here i also did not know that i can use a different state to do it even though i don't reside there and i also didn't know that that states vary in terms of requirements some don't need verification from cgfns the verification agency they don't use that they just go direct to the nursing council and do whatever the nursing council needs so these are all the tips you need to know to cut corners and beat time if you're not using a verification agency by six months you should get your thing done but if you're using a verification agency it took me a year and a half to get mine done so it makes a difference six months and a year and a half is a whole year difference so help people give them the information freely don't be selfish with information we all live to learn we're still learning you need each other here and there and just avail yourself if you can't just direct them to the website and that's it you have done your part share your study materials if you're done with them you can give it to somebody else and somebody else can benefit from that a lot Thank you to everybody who's helped me on my endless journey. Thank you, Abey Kum. Thank you, Ernest. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Edmund. You and I took it together and we passed. And I'm very grateful that we are all Aaron's together. <laughs>